Carol Lindley was an actress known for her work in films and television. She started as a child model and later acted in various roles becoming popular in the 1960s. Her performance in the film Blue Denim earned her a Golden Globe nomination. She also starred in The Poseidon Adventure, playing Nanai Perry. We're curious to know, has a scene or moment from Carol Lindley's performances left a lasting impression on you? What is your most memorable experience related to Carol Lindley? Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Carol Lindley to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this talented actress and her journey in the entertainment industry. Carol Lindley was an actress who worked in the film industry during the 1960s and 1970s. She was known for her roles in films like Blue Denim, The Poseidon Adventure, and Bunny Lake is Missing. Lindley's performances often portrayed strong, independent women, which was significant during a time when Hollywood was evolving in its portrayal of female characters. Her work in Blue Denim addressed teenage pregnancy, a topic that was controversial for its time, and the Poseidon adventure showcased her in a disaster film that became a classic of the genre. Lindley's presence in these films helped to shape the narrative around women's roles in cinema and society. Her career included both lead and supporting roles, allowing her to display a range of emotions and character developments that contributed to the storytelling of her era. While not always in the spotlight, Lindley's work had a subtle yet steady influence on the types of roles available to women in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations of actresses. In the midst of waterlogged scenes, the boots and pendant worn by the actress in the Poseidon Adventure were her own. She faced discomfort as the boots shrank from being wet so often. Despite later claims of singing the film's signature song, her vocals were actually provided by Renee Armand. Her career began early. At the age of 12, she balanced a full day of modeling with evening performances on Broadway, gaining notice for her work in plays like The Potting Shed and Blue Denim. In the 1970s, she shared the screen with Darren McGavin in a film that had audiences on the edge of their seats. Her role as Gail Foster in The Night Stalker is still remembered today. After a life in the spotlight, she chose a final resting place as serene as the role she portrayed. Her ashes were scattered over the Pacific Ocean. Off screen, she admired the work of Cameron Diaz, particularly enjoying the humor and heart of There's Something About Mary. A mother to her daughter Jill, born from her marriage with Michael Selsman, she shared a special bond with Fred Astaire, sparking rumors of marriage that never came to be. Her presence in the entertainment world was solidified with a memorable cover feature on Life magazine, leading to her first and last role with Disney in The Light in the Forest, where her performance alongside James MacArthur was met with polarized reviews. In her early career, she went by Carolyn Lee, but due to a conflict with an existing name in the Actors' Equity database, she adopted the homophone Carol Lindley for her stage work. Her role as Nan Nai in The Poseidon Adventure featured the song, The Morning After, which won an Academy Award. Although Lindley acted the part, the singing was performed by Rene Armand and later dubbed to match Lindley's performance. In The Cardinal, Lindley portrayed Mona, a character whose life mirrored her own in some ways, as she was a young Irish-American Catholic woman married to a Jewish man, similar to her character's backstory in the film. In the midst of disaster on screen, personal touches from the actress's life brought authenticity to her role. The boots and pendant she wore were not just props. They were pieces of her own history, reflecting a blend of her on-screen character and off-screen self. Her roots trace back to a mix of Irish and Massachusetts heritage, a blend of her father's journey from Kerry to America, and her mother's New England upbringing. On the set of Vigilante, she stepped into a role initially meant for another, bringing her unique interpretation to the character of Assistant District Attorney Mary Fletcher, showcasing her adaptability and skill in taking on diverse characters. In the span of three months in 2019, the film world lost three notable actors, the woman who faced the terror of a growing menace in Beware, The Blob, the man known for his roles in westerns and war films, and the actor who brought intensity to both the big and small screens. Their careers spanned decades and genres, leaving behind a collection of works that continued to entertain audiences. Among her many roles, she portrayed a singer trapped aboard a capsizing ship in the Poseidon Adventure. For a significant portion of the film, her presence is felt through her musical performances rather than spoken words, until a pivotal moment when she calls out for her brother, marking her first spoken dialogue. 
Her personal life was just as eventful, marked by a long-standing relationship with a prominent television host, which lasted intermittently over 18 years. This relationship kept away from the public eye, was a significant part of her life away from the camera. In the gritty urban drama Vigilante, a twist of fate saw Carol Lindley take on the role of Assistant District Attorney Mary Fletcher, a last-minute change from her initial casting as Vicki Marino. This switch, orchestrated by director William Lustig, was agreed upon without objection. Her early years were spent in the company of Sandra D. Tuesday Weld and Lorna Gilliam, where they not only shared classrooms at a school for young professionals in New York, but also shared the spotlight in advertisements and magazine features, including a notable one for Canada Dry. Following her appearance as Melissa Missy Breckenridge in The Last Sunset, Lindley quickly transitioned to the role of Allison McKenzie and returned to Peyton Place, a character later portrayed by Mia Farrow when the story transitioned to the small screen in Peyton Place. In the midst of chaos and danger on a doomed ship, an actress known for her portrayal of a character fearful of water was, in reality, quite comfortable in it. This contrast was not the only surprise behind the scenes. The cast, which included her, later shared the screen again in a different setting, aboard a cruise ship in a popular television series. On set, tension ran high between two actors, their on-screen romance belying a real-life animosity. Yet, time has a way of healing, and their relationship transformed into a genuine friendship, evident when they supported a fellow actor during his last public appearance. In her role as Allison McKenzie in Return to Peyton Place, Carol Lindley brought a new dimension to the character, different from the original portrayal by Hope Lange. The film's production saw a unique change for Tuesday Weld, who typically had light blonde hair. To create a visual distinction between her, and the mother-daughter pair played by Lindley and Eleanor Parker, Wells' hair color was altered to a darker shade. In The Last Sunset, Lindley played Melissa Missy Breckenridge, sharing the screen with Kirk Douglas and Rock Hudson. A memorable scene involves Douglas's character promising to return by sunset, yet the subsequent duel occurs under the midday sun, an oversight in the film's continuity. Carol Lindley also shared her insights on show business with Nelson Aspen, her friend and entertainment reporter. They discussed various topics, including her thoughts on the remake of The Poseidon Adventure and her extensive experience in entertainment. During their segments, she shared her Oscar predictions and expressed admiration for Frank Sinatra, her favorite Oscar winner. In the classic film The Poseidon Adventure, there's a memorable moment where a character is seen practicing a song with her band. The scene featuring the song The Morning After was actually the first one filmed for the movie. The initial choice for the role of her brother was a guitarist with brown eyes. However, to match her blue eyes, the role went to the drummer instead. This change ensured a more believable sibling pair on screen. In a career that spanned over five decades, Carol Lindley experienced the highs and lows of the entertainment industry. Perhaps one of the most heartrending moments came later in her life. Despite her success on screen, she faced personal challenges that were less known to the public. In 2007, her daughter Jill Victoria Selsman, who was also a photographer and filmmaker, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 34. This loss was a profound and private sorrow for Lindley, who had to bear the unimaginable grief of outliving her child. It was a stark contrast to the glamorous and often public life she led as an actress.